Hey everyone. <clears throat> so, somebody was asking me if I was going to put a topper on the jade ceramic coating that's on my dad's car, the graphene coating. And the answer is no. And I'm just going to just use basically that and then the products you see here. Well, at least some of the products you see here. In terms of a wash, for the first wash, I'm going to use the Fine Lab Pure Wash. I just got this one in the uh, in the other day. Uh, again, it's just a traditional uh, bucket wash here. So it's diluted at 1 to 400 in the bucket. And again, they tell you to do the two bucket wash in here. And uh, pretty straightforward. So I'm going to try this, see how it works. So again, it's already got the pre-measuring dispenser in here. So you just measure out uh, one ounce per 400 or one to 400 in your bucket. So pretty straightforward stuff. So I'm going to wash it with that. Now in terms of uh, maintenance product, all I'm going to do is use one of these graphene detail sprays. So I have the Adams one, which I have plenty of here. And you can see it starts to separate a little bit here. I don't know if you can tell there's a color difference. So you just got to shake it up every now and then on the, uh, because just to mix up the, the graphene oxide that's in here. You guys have seen me use this. I'm going to be, be using this. They really don't recommend it as a drying aid because I said it streaks, but I've never had that problem. Maybe because I don't have a lot of water on there. But again, pretty straightforward stuff. This one actually is pretty nice. And I still have the SPS uh, spray detailer, and I think you can actually see the black material that's in here. And that's the refined graphene oxide. It's stuck on some of the bottle here. Uh, sometimes on the bottom, uh, this one hasn't separated yet. Sometimes it separates and you can see that thing on, on the layer on it. So again, you just want to shake these up and mix it up because if not, you're not going to get the benefit of all that. So you can see some of it stays on the bottle. And these these do look very similar in terms of their color. So I don't think, they're, but they're probably not the same product but or anything like that or blended by the same thing. And then also in the maintenance regimen, I have the Jack's Wax Defend. This is a 32 ounce bottle. This is actually a graphene infused shampoo. So they tell you the directions here are not very good because they tell you to put uh, pour three to five ounces in your foam gun or can and top off with water, then shake well. Spray your entire vehicle and then using a pre premium wash mitt, you're gonna agitate the surface, slightly break up residue, and then rinse clean. There's no directions in here on how to use it as a bucket wash. I had to ask them, and they told me it's the same, three to five ounces in the bucket. So it's kind of a lot of shampoo in, in there. I may just play around with the dilution ratios and see if it's, uh, you know, I can get by with uh, one or two ounces in the bucket. It's pretty thick compared to like a Gion Bathe Plus or that Wolfgang Uber so hopefully the this one stays a little bit more sudsy on it so I'll be trying this one as well that's gonna be the maintenance on there so probably once a month I'll hit it with the Jack's Wax Defend and then every other wash I'll hit it with just like a basic wash fine lab I'm running out of uh, shift here and then one of these detail sprays so just to give you an idea what what the maintenance regimen is going to be on that graphene coating Let's see the weather today it is 82 degrees and 13% humidity, so it's rather dry here in California this time of year. And right now it's, uh, what's today's day? January 17th, so we're getting summer-like weather in January. So that's the plan going forward, so let me just go ahead and get my buckets and everything set up. I'm going to wash the wheels first, and then I'll show you what the initial rinse looks like of the graphene coating. And then we'll do the final rinse. Of the coating and then I'll show you what it looks like after applying. Uh, today I'm going to use the graphene details right from Adams. Uh, again, B&B blends the products for Adams so if you really want to stick with uh, the Jade stuff, you know Jade has their own product line as well. You can actually use their stuff but they don't have a graphene detail spray available. B&B uh, blends the Jade stuff. You can actually just use the Adams if you want to stay within the same family because they blend this for them. So I'm going to use uh, these two on, on, on the car for today. Alright, so stay tuned for the initial rinse and then we'll come back with the final rinse and then we'll do final results after using the graphene detail spray. I'm going to walk around. It's going to be the initial rinse of the graphene pro. I've kind of already did this side. 
I'll show you this side to kind of see how dirty it is in here. So we're just going to flush the dirt off. You can see extremely hydrophobic. Even on dirty paint, it sheets really well. So let me just go ahead and wash this guy and then we'll come back with the final rinse. All right, so now we're at the final rinse stage. Shower setting. So once we break through this shampoo, it's pretty impressive. Fast sheet rate. Here's the mist setting. Sheet. Pretty fast. Sides. Pretty fast. So, so far, first wash is impressive. I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish drying this thing and then uh, we'll come back with the Adams Detail Spray. Before I sheet rinse this completely, look at the tight water beading on here. Really nice. I've already sheeted the other side. I'm going to sheet the rest of this car, but really nice tight water beading. My calibrated eye saying it's like 110, 115, maybe even higher than that. Maybe even a 120 calibrated eye. Alright, thanks for watching. Okay, welcome back everyone. So you guys have seen me use the graphene detail spray on uh, on another video. Uh, again, I, I use this as a drying aid to touch up any remaining water after uh, blow drying the, the surface here. And um, I just use this uh, towel from Auto Fiber. I forget what it's called. Uh, it's actually a really nice towel. But here's what it looks like. After all that, it's about four o'clock. I'm starting to lose daylight here. But you can see in the shade, this car looks amazingly good, real glossy. Everything, only thing I really have to do is touch up the wheels, and then I'm done. But here I'll pan out and give you guys a better view of the Adams Detail Spray on top of a Jade Graphene. This car looks real nice. front glass I topped off with Beadmaker which has PNS view on the front. I may have to redo it because I noticed some streaks, some high spots on there. So I gotta check in the sun to see if they're still there. Here's the roof. Everything is looking real nice. I haven't coated the wheels yet. Those are next. I will be doing a graphing coating on each one and I'm trying the fine lab tire sealant on there. A little tricky to apply. And this car has the different shades. I don't know if that's just the way that the paint is. Probably a hard color to match. So overall it looks real nice. I'll go on the other side. I don't think you can get you can get all the car in here, but again it's looking real nice. So the Jade Graphene is going to give you that real high uh, glassy type look and then if you put a topper on it like I just put the Adams on I mean expect serious gloss on here. I mean this car is really glossy like it's dipped in glass. So I'm just going to be using some sort of graphene spray detailer to maintain it. I think that's really the way to go uh, for this purpose. I'm trying to try to stay in the, in the graphene family so to speak in the maintenance line that's what I'm trying to say so I'll just hit, hit it with the Adams detail spray a couple more washes and then I'll hit it with the um, defend um, shampoo and then when I do that I'll I'll bring it I'll uh, bring you guys along and kind of show you how that shampoo works whether it foams because it's pretty thick 
I'm going to be playing out, playing around with different ratios as well, and then we'll kind of see what type of protection that uh, leaves behind. If we can even tell, uh, we should be able to tell because the beading shouldn't be as tight as the jade. So uh, that's uh, what I'm going to be doing going forward. This Adams uh, detail spray. Well, there's another channel doing a, a test on it. I think they're seeing about three to four weeks. So expect about a month to, to, of durability on it. So again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.